Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a message or an update for Ian about my solar panels. These are all smashed up solar panels. That's a pair and that's a pair, but they're all on one string. These are about 405 watts, I think. And they're 475 watts over there. The sun is off over there at a weird angle. And I've just installed these two, but I've been running these for quite some time on a Solus, a small Solus. Maybe it's a, yeah, it's a Solace, but it's a Zanussi inverter, a 1.2 kilowatt one, I think. So it's just adequate, really. It's probably pushing the limit for these if they were in full sun, but because these are all cracked up units, they probably will never be in full sun. But I just want to put this out there for Ian so he knows I'm not taking the piss and taking them off him and selling them on or anything like that. They're pretty much worthless. If you get in there, you can see how bad they are. Completely smashed and damaged. I've hung them vertical because this is where I've got some space and these are off vertical. I'll show you why in a moment. Before I installed them, these were at about zero watts. So they were just residually keeping the uh, inverter ticking over. It was on, but not really generating. It came up a bit when the sun came out, but overcast it was zero. As Soon as I plugged those in, it shot up over 200 watts, which is still, you know, given that there's 950 watts of solar there, it's not much, but they're not clean. They're behind a tree. They're always gonna be partially shaded. So it's just to eke out a little bit more solar from where I've got a bit of space. Let's go over and have a, a look at how I've installed them. I've nailed in, or I've hammered in, not nailed it in. I've hammered in two pegs and put a piece of door jam across the side as a way of standing them up there. I have to get a bit of shadow there. And then I've just put solar panel mounting brackets on there, cleats, but they're completely wrong. But all they need to do is hold it in tight. I've got a bit of uh, polycarbonate roofing plug uh, clip there, a bit of angle iron or angle aluminium, and angle aluminium there, and that's enough to keep them rigid. And I've just wired them up in series with these guys here, and they're just held on with plastic clips, and they're mounted straight onto the fence. They're just resting on a piece of wood, three by two, screwed straight onto the fence where the beams of the fence are. That's why the, the cleats are where they are there. There really is nothing to it. And if you're looking to get into solar, broken panels are a good start. I've been paying 10 pounds each for these, which is kind of the going rate, although in terms of scrap value and that, it's not worth it at all. So 10 pounds a panel and you get an inverter second hand, just have to look for one that's working on eBay or somewhere like that, or if you know somebody who's upgrade and get their old one. But typically you have a thing called typically you have a thing called V start, which is where the panels wake up and you need a certain voltage coming in. And each panel typically is about 35 volts. And you usually usually need V start to be over 120. So four panels does it, two you need a very small inverter. So I might put these on a bigger inverter subsequently and that's it they're just augmenting my fence around my house and they're broken and if somebody cares to touch this one probably hurt them these ones were brand new but you can see the damage there that would if you lick your finger over that it'll cut you that's broken glass When you're installing when you're installing broken ones as well it kind of is better to have them as close to vertical as you can because then the water just runs off them i've put some in there in behind in the other garden in the back garden almost flat and they're not great because water sits on them and i think goes into them more and gets stuck on them so there you go a very easy install oh i should have showed you up here the top batten it's just a batten screwed to the fence and then they're just screwed on there so that top batten screwed to the fence and they're just screwed on top and it's not high tech in any way, but it gets them up off the ground. So if anything grows in the ground, it won't get in front of them. Over there, it doesn't matter really because there's nothing growing there, they're up off the ground. Different size panels, it really doesn't matter. Just start and do something and then you've got something. Questions or comments about the simplest solar installation around? cheapest too probably leave the questions below or any comments about how this is a bad idea or they won't last any of that stuff they work just fine for me thanks for watching see you later ian